Well, Tracy and Jim, yeah, let's show you now exactly where everything started from this building directly behind me. This is where police say that man opened fire on officers from this building, and you just said he's dead. Investigators say that they found him after he shot himself. And at this hour, people in this neighborhood are checking on their neighborhood, on their neighbors, seeing how they're doing, and they will admit they are traumatized by what they saw. About 1028, there was about uh, maybe sounds like about 10 or 15 shots. And for about 12 hours after that, people living in this area of Wilmington near 25th and Market Streets were at a standstill. Police told all the people in this area to shelter in place. I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know. So, you know, like I said, these bullets don't have no name, so. It's best to stay, stay in place, you know, until things are situated. Right now, police say the person who shot at police is Bernard Goodwin. Investigators say that when they found the 31-year-old, he was dead from a gunshot wound. But that doesn't mean the trauma's over for his direct neighbors. I heard gunshots, and I have, I have a six-year-old in here, so that, all of that kind of scared her. A little bit. It's horrible. It's this horrible. woman didn't want to show her face on camera, but told us she can't take the constant violence. I got depression, and I got um, anxiety. I got the whole nine. That's something leaders like Councilwoman at Large Maria Cabrera want to address. We should probably go door to door and just come out and say we're here. Uh, maybe host the community forum so that they can come together. Maybe get some more details about what happened and allay their fears. Now, gun violence, obviously an issue that is top of mind for leaders here in, Wa uh, in Wilmington. We know that the city leaders here just budgeted 300 grand for to, to spend on uh, gun violence prevention programs, and they want to use that money so that they give young people a place to go so that they have some activities to do this summer and they stay out of trouble. We're live in Wilmington. Stefania Jimenez, NBC10 News. All right, Stephanie, thanks for the update. Now, when breaking news is happening, you can count on NBC10 to bring you updates as they happen. Download our free NBC10 app and have breaking news alerts sent right to your phone.